Hey everyone, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're running an outdated version of Minecraft Server Bedrock Edition and you're seeing this error when you're trying to connect your server. The good news is that there is a very easy fix for this and all you have to do is upgrade your server. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and connect your server. And once you're connected to your server, go ahead and turn off your server application. How to do that, it will depend on your current setup. In my case, I'm running supervisor CTL. So to turn it off, all I have to do is run sudo supervisor CTL stop all and this will stop my Minecraft server. If you want to learn more about how to run your server with supervisor CTL, go ahead, check out my video from last week in which I'm showing you how to do that. It's a pretty cool setup. It keeps your server running 24 seven. But anyway, this is a topic of my video from last week. I'm going to get back to how to upgrade your server. Once you have your server turned off, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and download the latest version of the bedrock server. And you can get that from the minecraft.net. And so I'm going to download the one for the Ubuntu version. So I'm going to go ahead, click on this agree button here and then right click and then copy link. And once I have that link, I'm going to go back down to my server and I'm going to type wget, paste the link and go ahead and download the zip package. Once I have that file downloaded, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and list my current directory here so you can see what we're working with. My Minecraft server is running from this bedrock server directory. So the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and make a backup of this directory. So to do that, I'm going to use the mv command. So I'm going to say mv bedrock server and I'm going to move that to a bedrock server dot back. And once I have a backup of it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unzip this bedrock server zip file into a directory called bedrock server because this is where I want my server to run from. Again, this is where my supervisor CTL configuration will be looking for the server to start it. So I'm going to go ahead and run unzip and then I'm going to pass the name of my zip file and I'm going to follow that by dash D and then I'm going to give it the name of the new directory bedrock server. So doing this will install the latest version of your server. And so the next thing that you want to do is you want to transfer all your worlds and all of your configurations to the new server. So to do that, all you have to do is run CP and then path to your backup directory. So that will be bedrock server back. And from here, we're going to grab this server properties file and we're going to go ahead and move it to our new directory, to our new server. So that will be in directory bedrock server. So you can copy this file. And then the next thing that you want to copy will be your worlds. So you can go ahead here and say worlds. And I'm going to go ahead and actually make this recursive since it is a directory and we want to copy everything that's in that directory. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And once I have that all done, the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and start my server. Now, one thing I just want to let you know is you want to go ahead and maybe look into this bedrock server back directory, your backup directory, and you can look and if you have anything in your lawless JSON file, you may want to move that to that new server as well, along with uh, the permissions JSON. In my case, these are all empty files, so I don't really care about them. But if you do have any of these, you want to move those anyway. So the next I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start my server. So to do that again, since I'm running supervisor CTL, I'm going to run sudo supervisor CTL and then I'm going to run the reload command. Again, if you want to learn how to control your Minecraft server with the supervisor CTL tool, go ahead, check out my video from last week. Now that the server is started up and running, I'm going to go ahead to my mobile device. And from there, I'm going to try to connect to the server. And as you can see here, I'm running on uh, version 12031. And let's see if our server picked the new version. I'm going to go ahead and click on friends. And as you can see, yes, our server now is running on 12031. So I should be able to connect to it. 
and there you go i'm connected to the server and as you can see i still have everything from what it used to be on that server you can see this beautiful buildings here i think my kids built that since this is a server that my kids play on but yeah this is how you update your server so it's a pretty easy straightforward process um i hope it was helpful to you if you have any questions or you struggle with doing that you're getting any errors don't hesitate let me know in the comment section under the video and i'll try to help you again thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe for my channel